guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I am so happy to be finally sitting down and bringing you guys my fragrance knockout of the entire Rihanna collection. So, this does encapsulate all of Rihanna's fragrances, which 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So, there are 11 sitting here. One of them is considered a limited edition re release, so they, she only does have 10 fragrances. I do believe that her licensing or her time with um, Parallax is completely done. From what I understand, it sounds like she may be moving into the realm of releasing a Fenty Beauty fragrance, which fingers crossed that we get, you know, kind of like Kim went on to the road of KKW fragrance. I hope we get like a Fenty line from her. That would be amazing because Rihanna's collection is one of those that I really, really, really like. Um, I do have quite a bit from her collection, not only just like the fragrances, but I keep a lot of the extra stuff. Like, I do have this Rogue um, clutch that has the brass knuckles on the top. I love this thing. Um, but it, you know, opens up and you can put... It, this literally is the size of the bottle of Rogue. So you can fit a bottle of Rogue inside here. It doesn't necessarily close perfectly because of, there's these little velvet sides. But a bottle of Rogue does fit in there. Um, if I can get that out of there, that would be wonderful. Um, I also have this clutch, which I know there's a clutch just like this that is, um, it's got Kiss on it, which I need to find one of those and get one of those because that would just be amazing. And then I do have the, um, Love Always, the new clutch for her newest fragrance. So, I just love these. I love that, like, you know, the bottle is mixed in with that design there. It's just gorgeous. I love that. I love the attention to details on things like that. But, like, I just love... You can definitely tell that Rihanna put a lot of thought and time and energy into her fragrance line. And it wasn't just something she slapped her name on. Especially because all these fragrances are very different from other things out on the market. Yes, one of them does smell very similar to um, something else that's out on the market. But, for the most part, you hear a lot of people saying that Rihanna's collection is the most diverse in the celebrity market. Um, and there will be a whole video eventually for me going into the celebrity market, but <clears throat> here are all of Rihanna's fragrances, which is what you guys are ultimately here for. So, going from least favorite to favorite in Rihanna's line, in at number 11, technically number 10, anyway, is Rebel Fleur. So, someone's gonna be like, that's my favorite Rihanna fragrance, why don't you like this one? It definitely does have a very nice coconutty scent, along with some very deep and dark, kind of oily scents. Um, it is very, very sexy, very elegant, very different. It doesn't smell like a lot of things that smelled anywhere on the market, but the coconut already throws me off because I'm not a big fan of coconut in fragrances. But the reason this is my least favorite of all of Rihanna's fragrance is because of this guy. So this, at one point in time, was a mini. And if you guys can see, I don't know if my camera will even focus on the inside of this, but uh, that little thing broke. And that caused it to not seal properly, which then caused this entire bottle to leak. So the smell of this is very, 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 very strong to me. And it's because I it, this leaked and I smelled it for a very, 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 very long time. So I don't particularly love that fragrance just because it is such a strong scent memory for me. But that being said, it is still one of Rihanna's best fragrances. So following right up behind that would be Rebel Fleur Love Always. So this is supposed to be a darker version. It's very, very, very similar. Um, it is a little bit darker, but personally, I just love this bottle more than I love this bottle. Um, I just like the black on black. I just think this is gorgeous. This is sexy to me. Um, but definitely this is very, very, very similar to the original. It's just a little bit darker, a little bit more... Um, not as loud. This is definitely a little bit more matted. So, like, definitely, I think the caps are very reminiscent. This is a black map. This is a shiny map. This is very, like, bam. And this is a little bit more subdued. A little more matted. Brought back in at the next one is Rebel. So, this one I really, really like because it does have a chocolate note in it. But it is still very similar to Rebel Fleur. So, like, they're kind of sisters. This is just a little bit different. Um, I don't particularly like this one just because it does keep that kind of oily vibe that the original, or that Rebel Fleur had. Um, but this is just, it's really, really nice. It has that chocolate in it, and it's definitely, again, different from a lot of Rihanna's fragrances. 
Next, we have Rogue Man. And of course, I wasn't going to just do Rihanna's female fragrances because I have Rogue Man, so I have to include this. This is a very nice male fragrance. I do believe that the ad that she used and the gentleman that was in the ad with this is like spot on what this smells like. This does have kind of like that rough and tungle um, scent to it. It is very kind of like a typical male fragrance in the aspect of it doesn't have a whole lot of like fruity or sweetness to it. It is kind of just pretty and masculine but that being said I definitely think she hit the nail on the head with the kind of rough idea that she went into with this. Coming in next is Rogue. So love this fragrance. Um, this is leather, suede, um, and lemon. It's a really 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 nice fragrance. Definitely different from a lot of things and that's the thing about Rihanna's fragrances is all of her fragrances are very different from things out on the market already. This it's just amazing. It's so different and it lasts so long and I love the studs in the bottom of the bottle. This is a 4.2 ounce bottle for some reason and I again don't know if my camera... Yeah, there we go. Uh, my camera or my bottle has a 2.5 fluid ounce sticker on it. I don't know why but this is definitely a 4.2. Um, it's just something fun. I've always thought about this bottle that mine has that goof of a sticker on it. Um, but it is a really, 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 <clears throat> really, really nice fragrance. Excuse me. Next one is Riri. So this is Fruity Notes and Rum. I really like this fragrance. It's very fruity, very sexy, but there's something about this as it dries down that smells like Play-Doh that kind of puts me off and I don't know what it is. It kind of just gives that kind of like the saltiness or whatever that Play-Doh has. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. It has that when it dries down and I don't know why, but I really do like the opening of it. And it's not something that, like, as you wear it throughout the day, it dries down to that. It's definitely toward the end of you wearing it that it smells like that. So it's not something you're catching all the time. Definitely still get those fruity notes and, like, the rum that's in there. It makes a really, really nice fragrance. That being said, we're going to go into the next one. And that's Nude. So this is fruity. It's kind of syrupy. It's kind of thick. Um, but I like that. It's got this, like true fruitiness to it that like the the syrupy almost makes it because those fruits are syrupy um i really really like this one it is very nude it is very like your skin but better um your skin but better with a kind of like a sexy syrupiness to it but that being said my favorite one would obviously have to be the nude diamonds 777 limited edition minus 331 out of 777 autographed by Rihanna down here in the bottom and it did come in this fun little box um that's like iridescent and then opens up velvet with Rihanna it's got the little uh, Riri R right there and then just just give you a little information about the fragrance on the inside with this little sticker telling you that and then on the back if I flip it it should say you know Diamond Limited Edition and what the whole idea of this was. If that wants to stay in focus, that would be wonderful. So yeah, it gives you that. My next one in is Rogue Love. So also insert, I don't know why, but my R's chipped on my Rogue Love. That does irritate me. But this is Viva La Juicy Rihanna style. So this is definitely like the bad girl of a Viva La Juicy. It has this edgy and sharpness to it that the original Viva La Juicy doesn't have. So if Viva La Juicy is almost too sweet for you, but you like sweet fragrances, definitely pick this one up because it adds this like edge, like a sharp knife to it that it's not sharp in any way, but like in comparison to Viva La Juicy, it has this very like sharp bad girl edge that the original Viva La Juicy doesn't have. But that being said, it's not a remarkably different fragrance. They're basically spot on. They're basically duped for each other. This is really the only run of fragrance that could be something else out in the world. That you'd be like, yeah, I've smelled that. It's Viva La Juicy. But this is a little bit different. <clears throat> Next in second is Crush. I love Crush. This is a very floral fragrance. It's very fresh. It's very sophisticated. It's very elegant. Um, it's so good. It does remind me a little bit of 
uh, Shakira's dance, but they're still very different fragrances, and that's just because I've compared them side by side. That I know they smell that like that they smell similar, but this isn't someone who'd be like wearing dance, be like, oh, you're wearing Crush by Rihanna, or vice versa. This is just a very, very elegant floral. I love that about that. I do really like elegant florals. I love the metal cap on here. Um, I just think that's super pretty. And my favorite Rihanna fragrance is Kiss. This is Ambergris Plum White Florals. It is unique, unlike anything else on the out on the market. Um, it does have a little knot on the top of there. This is a beautiful white floral plum fragrance. The ambergris adds a little bit to this. That just makes it a little bit different. Um, not generally the biggest fan of ambergris, but for some reason it works really well in here. This is just a beautiful white floral. It is very unique, but still, like, if you were to smell it, be like, I kind of, that reminds me of something. But I don't think you could really put your nose on what it smells like because it has those similar white florals, but it's also got these edges that you don't... It's got a lot of... I think that what I'm trying to say is it has a lot of facets that are very reminiscent and it's hard to pinpoint where you smelled them. But it's, I feel like a lot of fragrances combined into one. It's very unique. It's very different from a lot of things out on the market, but then again, it's also very, very safe. Um... But it's still an amazing fragrance. I don't want to say safe and you guys think that it's a bad fragrance because none of Rihanna's fragrances are considered sl typical celebrity fragrances. None of them are that really sugary sweet. They're definitely things that you may not like if you blind buy them, even based on reviews, even based off of knowing notes that you like. Rihanna has this edge to her fragrances that is completely different from a lot of celebrities. And and I don't mean that in the way that everybody else says that. I mean that from a place of complete, like, comparing to all these celebrities, no one's line comes anywhere near Rihanna's. You, Rihanna's is very diverse. It's very unique. It's very her. I 100% can tell you that you can tell that Rihanna took time and sat in with these fragrances because this is very, very much a unique range. And the only fragrances that I would say that are, like, Maybe she didn't have a say-so would be, you know, this one coming out as a flanker to this one. Just because Rihanna did say she liked to do things in threes, and that's why all of her collections have threes. So I think maybe Parlux just released this one to fulfill a contract. Who knows? Um, but definitely her entire collection is very unique, very different, and worth line buying if you like different and unique fragrances and are will like if you're willing to take that jump of a blind buy, definitely check out her line. So there you guys go. There is my Rihanna Fragrance Knockout series. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will be bringing you guys more fragrance knockouts as well as more videos coming soon. Follow me on Twitter, AvaS Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.